Hey, this is Bobby Holland with Bipper Media, and you are listening to SEO Secrets. Hi, hello there. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about how you can create a winning keyword strategy. Did you know that nearly 70% of all online experiences start with a search engine? About 75% of people using search engines never look past the second page of results. So if you're not using keywords that your consumers are searching for, then you might not be reaching them. Instead, try using proper SEO or search engine optimized keywords because they can help improve your search engine rankings and your return on investment. If you're not sure where to start, this is a great place. And I would love to share with you eight tips that can help you gather your keyword research. Tip number one is to understand your audience. Before you rush into gathering your keyword research, it's important to consider what your target audience is. Otherwise, your keywords might not be relevant to their interests. About 45% of consumers won't spend time with posts that don't match their interests. So when you're developing your strategy, it's important to keep them in mind. That way you can personalize your digital marketing strategy based on who you want to target. Tip number two is consider the intent. Google's machine learning capabilities allow it to try to determine any user's intentions with their searches. With that, they try to predict what consumers want to find during a search. And if your content doesn't align with their search intent, your content won't appear for that search query. Take a moment to consider why customers are searching online. Why are they using those specific keywords? Tip number three is check out the competition. Before using keywords within your own content, take the time to research your competitors too. You can learn from their successes and failures. Look at the blog posts they've already written and note different topics they're covering. Then start reading through other posts that they have. Look at the style they're using and consider the information they're providing as well. Which posts have the highest search and rankings? Which generate the most comments? Tip number four, make a list of topics. Once you have a better understanding of who your customers are, you can start working on your keyword strategy. Start by creating a list of topics you want to cover. Choose topics that are relevant to your product, service, or industry. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this episode. I wanted to take a quick break and invite you to uh, get one of our free eBooks called the 25 Local SEO Tips to Growing Your Business. Um, It's one of our most popular eBooks and you can get it right now by clicking the link in the description. And that's it. Let's get back to the show. Tip number five, use tools. You can type your topics and subtopics into online keyword research tools to generate a list of focus keywords. You can use tools like SEMrush, Keyword Planner, Answer the Public, Google Trends, and Ahrefs. Otherwise, consider working with an experienced digital marketing agency that can gather your keyword research for you. Tip number six is consider secondary keywords. Your website can be penalized if you stuff your content with the same keyword too many times. To avoid keyword stuffing, consider secondary keywords. Use related terms and synonyms to make a list of secondary keywords for each focus keyword on your list. Tip number seven, let keywords inform your content. Once you have your keyword research done, you can start putting your keyword strategy to use. Start creating content based on the keywords you gathered and avoid writing the post, then adding the keywords in. Otherwise, your keywords might appear unnatural within the content. Add your focus keywords to places like the title, the URL, an H1 tag, opening and closing paragraphs, body text, meta description, and your alt text. But please remember to avoid keyword stuffing whenever you're using them throughout the content. The last tip, tip number eight, continue gathering data. Once you start using SEO keywords to create content, review the results, which posts are generating the most traffic, then use that data to inform your strategy for the future. Effectively using keyword strategies doesn't have to feel like a hassle. Instead, try these tips to get started. And if you're interested in learning about what Bipper Media can do to help you with this, please don't hesitate to visit our website at bippermedia.com or scan the QR code on the screen to connect one of our business development team members. We would love to hear from you and have a chance to share with you how we think we can help you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to this episode of SEO Secrets.